Good afternoon. In discrete mathematics, uh, we will start with uh, the unit 3 that is property of integers. In this property of integers, we will discuss the mathematical induction, the well order principle and recurrence recursive definitions. In this, you are already familiar with the mathematical induction in your PU, PU classes. Now, we will discuss why we use the mathematical induction and also for this we referred some of the books related to this discrete mathematical structures, discrete mathematical structures with application to computer science by Tremblay and Manohar and discrete mathematics and its application by Kenneth H. Rosen, fifth edition, the newly edition 2009 and discrete and combinatorial mathematics by Grimaldi. Discrete mathematical structures for computer science by Coleman, Robert C. Westby. These are the some important reference books we utilize for this talk. The mathematical induction is a method of mathematical proof typically used to establish that a given statement is true for all natural numbers, positive integers. It is done by proving that the first statement in the infinite sequence of statements is true and then proving that if any one statement in the infinite sequence of statements is true, then so is the next one. The method can be extended to prove statements about more general well founded structures such as trees. This generalization known as structural in induction is used in mathematical logic and computer science. Mathematical induction in this extended sense is closely related to recursion. Mathematical induction should not be misconstructed as a form of inductive reasoning, which is considered non-rigorous in mathematics. In fact, Mathematical induction is a form of rigorous deductive reasoning. Actually, in 1370 uh, BC, Plotus Parmenides may have contained an early example of an implicit inductive proof. The earliest implicit traces of mathematical induction can be found in Euclid's proof that the number of primes is infinite and in Bhaskara cyclic method an opposite iterated technique counting down rather than up. This another technique is found in the Sarkatrix paradox where one argued that if 10 lakhs grains of sand formed a heap and removing one grain from a heap left it a heap. Then a single grain of sand or even no grains forms a heap. This is one of the example. An implicit proof by mathematical induction for arithmetic sequence was introduced in the Alfraki written by Alfraquin around 1080, who used it to given to prove the binomial theorem and properties of Pascal triangle. You know that Pascal triangle that is a plus b the whole a plus b to the power of 1, a plus b to the power of 1 can be represented you know that in the Pascal triangle that is 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 and 1, 3, 3, 1. This is a triangle in a form of a binomial expansion. This is the Pascal triangle also one of the example for this binomial theorem. None of these ancient mathematicians, however, explicitly stated the inductive hypothesis. Another similar case was that of Francis in his Arithmetico Librio Dio in 1575, who used the technique to prove that the sum of the first n odd integers is n square. The first explicit formula relation of the principle of induction was given by Pascal in his Triangle Arithmetica in 1665. Another Frenchman Fermat made ample use of a related principle indirect proof 
by in infinite in infinite descent. The deductive hypothesis was also employed by the Swiss Jacob Bernoulli and from then on it became more or less well known. The modern rigorous and systematic treatment of the principle came only in the 19th century with George Bully and Charles and others done this. Mathematical induction is unfortunately named for it is and unambiguously a form of deduction. However, <coughs> it has certain similarities to induction which very likely inspired by its name. It is like induction in that it generalizes to a whole class from a smaller sample. In fact, the sample is usually a sample of one and the class is usually infinite. Mathematical induction is deductive. However, because the sample plus a rule about the unexamined cases actually gives us information about every member of the class. Hence, the conclusion of a mathematical induction does not contain more information than was latent in the premises. Mathematical inductions therefore, conclude with the deductive Satanic. Mathematical induction is used frequently in discrete mathematics and computer science. Many quantities that we are interested in measuring such as running time, space or output of a program typically are restricted to a positive integers and thus mathematical induction is a natural way to prove facts about these quantities. An analogy of mathematical induction is the game of dominoes. Suppose dominoes are lined up properly so that when one falls the successive one with also fall. Now one by pushing the first domino the second will fall, when the second will fall the third will fall and so on. You already known if you done this similarly one by one if you push one another one is also downwards that is the dominoes treatment we can see that all the dominoes will ultimately fall. What is induction? This is a method of proof it does not generate answers it only can prove them. Here we can remember three parts one of them is base case show it to true for one element we started with one of them then inductive hypothesis. Assume it to is true for any given element must be first you must remember clearly labeled. Show that if it is true for the next highest element. This is the some definition related to principle of mathematical induction. It suffice to show that basic step. What is basic step? first you can make that as a p of x that is p of 1 is true or not. Then you can assume that if p of k is true then p of k plus 1 the next term is also true for all k that is inductive step. And also we remember well ordering principle to state the principle of mathematical induction the set of all positive integers is well ordered. The set of our integers is a well ordered. This is the one of the techniques how to prove by mathematical induction. First you can declare p of n the given statement can be represent p of n or s of n and the domain of n. First the basic step what are the basic step write down the statement of the first case. Do not do any simplification or algebra means addition subtraction nothing you can be done on the statement of the first case you explain why it is true. Next for a equals b type or simplify and r manipulate each side and see that they are the same this is the base step. 
Next, in the inductive step, write down the kth case. This is the inductive hypothesis. Write down the next k1 plus k1 plus 1 case. This is what you need to prove to be true. For a is equal to b means left hand and right hand is type, we usually start from one side of the equation and show that it equals to the other side. In the process, you need to use the inductive hypothesis that is using p of kth case also in between. Then you can conclude that p of k plus 1 is true. Now, we will give the examples related to mathematical induction. This is one of the simple example prove that prove that 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus etcetera 2 n minus 1 the whole square equals 1 by 3 times n into 2 n minus 1 into 2 n plus 1 for any positive integer n. If you are observing this first we can take it this function first we can take that function given function as p of n. In that first we can verify the base case. What is base case? In the case n equals 1. First we can inductive base case first started with the first value. In the first value that equation left hand side the first element is 1 square. That is 1, 1 square is 1. In the right hand side the n is equal to 1 means 1 by 3 times 1 into 2 n minus 1, 2 into 1 minus 1 into 2 into 1 minus 1, 2 n plus 1 sorry. Then this become what happens here 2 minus 1 is 1, but here 3, 1 by 3 into 3 will be there, 3, 3 become cancelled you get left hand side that is a is equal to b we shown in the definition here that is left hand side is equal to right hand side means here the base case is satisfied. If the base case is satisfied then we assume that this formula is true up to k plus 1 means if p of k is true means the formula that is 1 square plus 2 square plus etcetera that is in place of n you can make it into k that is 2 k minus 1 the whole square equals 1 by 3 times k into 2 k minus 1 into 2 k plus 1 this is the formula. We assume that this function is true then we want to prove that p of k plus 1 is also true. p of k plus 1 is also true means that is 1 square plus 2 square plus etcetera here how to get in place of k you can put it as k plus 1 what happens first you can check it down what is that that is 2 k plus 2 minus 1 the whole square will be there. Then here that is again 2 k minus 1 sorry 2 k plus 1 that is 2 k minus 1 the whole square plus 2 k plus 1 the whole square will be there. This is the next term actually then 1 by 3 k into k plus 1 into 2 into k plus 1 sorry 2 k plus 1 then here 2 k plus 3 will be there. This we want to prove first we assume that this one then we can start with this here and to show that the same result is true even in n is equal to k plus 1. Then sorry this is plus n is equal to k plus 1 for to show that in this step we can use here in this step we can add both the sides that is 2 k plus 1 the whole square sorry this is not 2 k minus 1 this is 2 k plus 1 2 k plus 1 the whole square can be added to this function here and here then the left hand side you get the left hand side clearly, but in the right hand side what happens in these two that is 2 k plus 1 is a common. You can take 2 k plus 1 is a common factor the remaining is k into 2 k minus 1 plus 3 times 2 k plus 1. Then 
what I, because here 3 is there because we have taken 1 by 3 that is why 3 will be multiplied here <coughs> then that become 2 k plus 1 k into 2 k plus minus 1 plus 3 into 2 k plus 1 then multiply here that is 2 k square plus 5 k plus 1 will be there. This become if you factorize this you get k plus 1 into 2 k plus 3. This is same as what we assume to prove this. Hence by the induction we get the result. Hence if p of 1 is true then p of k plus 1 is also true means then the statement is true for all the values. Next we give another example related to the mathematical induction. Prove that 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 4 plus etcetera n into n plus 1 equals 1 by 3 times n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 for any positive integers n using mathematical induction. What are the induction rules? First you can verify first value n is equal to 1 means the first terms are here 1 into 2 it is the left hand side. In the right hand side 1 by 3 times here n is 1 this is 1 plus 1 is 2 here 1 plus 2 is 3 then we get 1 into 2 here also 3 3 become cancel you get 1 into 2 e equals 1 into 2 means left hand side and right hand side is satisfied means it satisfies the base condition that is the first p of 1 or s of 1 is true. Next you can assume that this theorem is true here we assume that the result is true for n is equal to k where k is greater than 1 is some higher positive integer. Then in this function the given function replace n to k you get that one that is 1 into 2 plus 2 into 3 this one you get that you call that as equation 1. After that the k plus 1th term what is the k plus 1th term? In this left hand side if you put in place of k, k plus 1 you get the which function can be added. Here in this problem k into k plus 1 means here k into k plus 1 the next term is k plus 1th term that become k plus 1 into k plus 1 plus 1 that is k plus 2. This is the term you can add to both the sides. To show that the same is true even n is equal to k plus 1 means this is the function then add both the sides of the previous equation k plus 1 into k plus 2 in 1. Then that become here this is the function this k plus 1 and k plus 2 is added here and here the left hand side and right hand side then you can simplify the right hand side that is k into k plus 1 k plus 2 is there here k plus 1 term is a common you can take k plus 1 and k plus 2 are common you can take outside then remaining is here 1 by 3 into k plus 1. 1 by 3 if you take common then you get here k plus 1 take LCM here that is k plus 1 k plus 2 and 1 by 3. This theorem is true for all values of k. Next this that is a one of the fundamental uh, results you already known in your previous classes. Here this is another type of problem this is a induction in not directly we can prove using mathematical induction proof. Here we, this is the sum of the other part of the problem prove that 3 divides n cube minus n for any positive integer n. We prove this result by induction on giving various values to n. First what is the first step that is a basic step for n is equal to 1. If you put n is equal to 1 this become 1 minus 1, 1 minus 1 is 0 you know that 3 always divides 0. If you put n is equal to 2 here then n cube, n cube is 8, 8 minus 2 is 6 then 6 is also 3 divides 6 thus the result is verified. Similarly we can check it out if you need 
1 and 2 is more than enough, then if you put n is equal to 3, that is also true, because 27 minus 3, that is 20, 24, then we can divide that. Next, the base case is true means, then we go to the second one, induction, what is that? If first you can assume that, here we assume that the result is true for n is equal to k, where k is some higher positive integer that is uh, 3 by k cube minus k and to show that the same result is true even for n is equal to k plus 1 that is 3 divides k plus 1 the whole cube minus k plus 1. For this we need to show that this quantity is a multiple of 3. First, we can start with the numerator that is k plus 1 the whole cube minus k plus 1. k plus 1 the whole cube means expansion of this. What is the expansion of this? That is k cube plus 3 k square plus 3 k plus 1 that is a plus b the whole cube formula. You can apply you get this one and minus k minus 1 will be there. Then you can grouping this what is that k cube minus k this plus in these two here plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled. If you take 3 as a common here then k square plus k will be there. We already known that we assume in the previous here 3 divides k square minus k that is the assumption of it. Then this is 3 divides k cube minus k and as 3 divides itself therefore, 3 divides 3 divided by k square plus multiple of 3. We are well known uh, results are there. If a divides b, a divides c, then a divides b plus c. We already studied in our integers in our 10th class. If a divides b, a divides c, then a divides b plus c. That is the transitive condition. Then here also, if this divides 3, this is also divides 3 means definitely this difference is also divides means this k plus 1 the whole cube minus k plus 1 is divides by 3 divides this function. Hence, this p of k plus 1 case is also true means hence by induction the result will be follows. Next another proof prove that for n, for all n belongs to integers, n is a greater than 3, then 2 power n is less than n factorial. We prove that for all n belongs to z plus, n is greater than 3, here first it is mentioned that n is greater than 3, then 2 power n is less than n factorial. Here for by the induction on various values of n. Here the base step means it is not always the n is equal to 1. Depending on the problem, the n value changes. In this particular problem, it starts from n is greater than 3. n is greater than 3 means you can start with n is equal to 4 is the base step. First you can verify if n is equal to 4, if n is equal to 4 means what happens that is 2 to the power of 4. 2 to the power of 4 means 16. 16 is less than n factorial. What is n factorial? n factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 etcetera n. Then multiple of all n terms we get n factorial. Here 4 factorial is there. Then 4 factorial is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 means that is 2 into 3, 3 into 4 is 24. Thus, 16 is less than 24. This n is equal to 4. This result is holds good. Thus, the result is verified. Next, we assume that the above holds good for some higher positive integer value n is equal to k. We assume that it is true. Then, we can prove that it is k plus 1th term is also true. That is to show that 2 power k plus 1 is less than k plus 1 factorial. 
here we use some inequality that is if a is less than or equal to b c is less than or equal to d then a dots a multi a into c is less than or equal to b into d here with k being a large positive integer certainly we obtain 2 is less than k plus 1 and as 2 power k is less than k factorial we already known this is true therefore a is less than b c is less than d then a into c a into c means here 2 into 2 power k is less than k plus 1 into k factorial you know that if k plus factorial next term is k plus 1 that can be written as k plus 1 factorial that is 2 power k plus 1 less than k plus 1 factorial thus this result is true for n is equal to k plus 1 also hence by induction it follows that the given result is true for all values of n is greater than 3 there is another result similar to previous one prove that n belongs to z plus n is greater than 4 n square is less than 2 power n I already mentioned if you see the problem carefully which is the base step in this problem the base step starts from it is greater than 4 if it is a greater than 4 you can start with first for induction substitute n is equal to 5, 6 and 7. For n is equal to 5 here clearly what happens this n square n square is 5 square 5 square is 25 less than 2 power 5. 2 power 5 means 2 into 2 into 2 5 times that is 32 25 is less than 32 means thus the result is verified in the base step if you need you can substitute 6 and 7 also you get a similar exception the result is verified next you can assume that the k is true means to assume that the result is holds good for n is equal to v k where k is a highest positive integer value that is k square in place of n here k square is less than 2 power n what is to show here you can show that k plus 1 the whole square is less than 2 power k plus 1 first we can start with this k square is less than sorry k square is less than 2 power k means then first we can consider the left hand side the left hand side of this I will consider this k plus 1 the whole square can be written as k square plus 2 k plus 1 by the assumption we have k square is less than 2 power k means k plus 1 the whole square is less than 2 power k plus 2 k plus 1 with k being a large positive integer we certainly here 2 k plus 1 means here expand this k square plus 2 k plus 1 will be there 2 k plus 1 here also 2 k plus 1 2 k plus 1 is less than 2 power k therefore k plus 1 the whole square is less than 2 power k this is also in these two function we can write it as 2 power k then this is equal to here 2 times will be there that is 2 times 2 power k then by induction so what is that a power n and a power m then a power m plus n then that become 2 power k plus 1 will be there hence by the induction we may be conclude that for all n belongs to z plus n is greater than 4 this result is true for all n greater than 4 there is another type of example for all n belongs to integers 
short if n is greater than or equal to 24 then n can be written as a sum of fives and or sevens and slash or sevens means here we want to prove that n can be represented as 5 times m plus 7 times n here m and n are integers in this the basic step what is that you can start with the base step here it is n value is greater than or equal to 24 n is greater than or equal to 24 means here n can be represented as 24 means 24 can be rewritten as 10 plus 14 10 plus 14 means 10 means that is 2 times 5 because we can express this in terms of m dot 5 plus n dot 7 then sorry maybe here in place of n m and t you can represent because you will be confused with both this n a 5 a plus 7 b that is better way better form here 2 times 5 and 2 times 7 if you observe that a into 5 plus b into 7 will be there for n is equal to 25 then that can be represented as 25 equals 5 into 5 then it is sum of 5's 5's and 7's 5 into 5 plus 0 into 7 that is all for n is equal to 26 because we are giving some 24, 25 and 26 each values 26 can be represented as 21 plus 5 then 21 can be represented as 3 into 7 and 5 can be represented as 1 into 5 means a into 5 plus b into 7 means any number can be represented n is greater than or equal to 24 if 24, 25 and 25 can be expressed in terms of a in 5 into a plus 7 into b then thus the result is verified for few elementary values of n what is next assumption here we assume that k k means m dot 5 into m plus 7 into n is true where k is a some large positive integer what is to show here to show that this result is also true for the next higher positive integer n is equal to k plus 1 thus to prove that for some integer values of a into b in place of m and n you can represent a and b what is the starting point here you can start with k plus 1 k is m into 5 plus sorry m into 5 plus n into 7 plus 1 then m into 5 plus n into 7 plus 15 15 1 can be represented as 15 minus 14 15 can be represented as 3 into 5 14 can be represented as 2 into 7 then this is m minus m plus 3 into 5 plus better you can change here a into b form always that is k plus 1 equals here a into 5 plus 7 into b plus 1 because k is this one and plus 1 will be there then a into 5 plus 7 into b plus this can be represented as because it can be represented as sum of 5 into 7 means we can write it as 15 minus 14 for our convenience then this is a into 5 plus 7 into b plus 5 can be represented as 3 into 5 minus 2 into 7 then we can rearrange this that is a plus 3 here with the combination a plus 3 into 5 plus 7 b plus minus 2 into 7 here you can observe this is a plus d sum of two integer is again an integer difference of two integer is again an integer then this is also one integer that is x 5 
plus y into 7. Again, this is also the representation. K plus 1, th one is also true for this. Hence, by the mathematical induction principle, it is concluded that the result is always true subject to the condition of the problem stated. There is another form of the problem by mathematical induction. Prove that for every positive integer n, the number a n equals 5 power n plus 2 into 3 power n minus 1 plus 1 is a multiple of 8. The base step is, that is a basic step, what is that? Put n is equal to 1, because here there is no constraints are there, means you can start with the 1 value. If a is n is equal to 1 here, then that become a 1, 5 power 1 plus 2 into 3 power 1 minus 1 is 3 power 0 plus 1 if you adding simplification of this that is 2 into 1 plus 1 plus 5 that is 8 means 8 is multiple of 8 a power n is a multiple of a a 1 is a multiple of 8 that is the base step then what is that you can assume that if it is it is true for a k is a multiple of 8 then we can prove that a k plus 1 term is also true multiple of 8. By the induction step, assume that is a multiple of 8. A k, a n is a multiple of 8 for n is equal to k, k is greater than or equal to 1. Using the definition of a n, we find that a k plus 1 minus a k, that is 5 power k plus 1 plus 2 into 3 power k because here n minus 1 is there. That is why it is 3 power k plus 1 minus 5 power k plus 2 into 3 power k minus 1 plus 1. Then if you simplifying this here, 5 5 will be there. 5 power k is a common factor for these two function. If this is a common factor means that is 5 minus 1 is 4, 5 power 5 power k plus here 3 power k, here also 3 power k minus 1, the lesser value is 3 power k minus 1, you can take common for this 2, that is 3 power k minus 1, here also 2 is there, here also 2, you can take 2 as a common factor, then 3 power k minus 1, here 3 will be remaining. 3 minus 1 that is 2, 2 times 3 power k minus 1 plus here another term is missing plus here 1 plus 1 that is 2, then plus 2 will be there, then we can this is 4, 4 times 5 power k, here sorry 1 minus 1 is 0, here 2 times uh, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 times 3 power k minus 1. Then since 5 and 3 are odd function, 5 power k and 3 power k minus 1 is also odd. Consequently, you know that sum of two odd numbers is again it is an even function. Hence, here this is 5 power k, 3 power k minus 1 is also odd, then sum is a even function. Sum is even function means multiple 4 times if it is 8. So, if it is 2, even function means starts 2, 4, 6, 8, etcetera. If it is 2, then 4 into 2 is a multiple of 8. If 3 means again you get a multiple, of, sorry, 4, 2, 4 will be there. 4 into 4 is 16, it is also multiple of 8. That is, a k plus 1 minus a k is a multiple of 8. Hence, the a n is a multiple of 8. Next, uh, we can uh, give another example that is harmonic series. Let h1 is equal to 1, h2 equals 1 plus 1 by 2, h3 means 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3, etcetera. This is hn, not 3, hn equals 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus etcetera, 1 by n. Prove that summation i running from 1 to n hi harmonic 
then n plus 1 times h n minus n for all positive integers n is greater than or equal to 1. Here we have to prove that the statement we can start with that is a statement s n is true for all positive integers n is greater than or equal to 1. What is the basic step? We put n is equal to 1 that is the first step. We note that s of 1 is true means here I become 1 that is h 1. h 1 is h 1 equals 2 times here n is equal to 1 2 times h 1 minus 1 1 1 become cancel here 1 equals 2 times h 1 is also 1 then 1 equals 2 times 1 minus 1 means 1 equals 1 then for p s of 1 is true what is the next stage we assume that it is true for n is equal to k then we can prove that s of k plus 1 is also true. We assume that this is a true we can start with i is equal to 1 to k h i equals k plus 1 h k minus k. We are proving that i running from 1 to k plus 1 h i can be represented as i 1 to k h i plus after outside this k plus 1 the term plus h k plus 1. Then this we already known this function equals this k plus 1 h k minus k means here summation i running from 1 to k plus 1 h k will be there h i sorry i is the function then this can be written as summation h i i running from 1 to k what is the next term that is h of k plus 1. This we already known it is true for this case that is k plus 1 into h of k plus k plus h of k plus 1. Here this is k plus 1 h k plus k sorry plus k sorry minus k plus h k will be there. If you simplifying this here k plus 1 term can be taken common factor for here then what happens here that is h k h k plus 1 then minus 1 by here k plus 1 term is absent here therefore that is 1 by k plus 1 minus minus k this will be the remaining plus h of k plus 1 means adding and subtracting and rearranging here then you get this is k plus 2 times h of k plus 1 minus k plus 1 means you can observe one term is extra here h k plus 1 minus k plus 1 the term. This shows that k plus 1 term is also true. These are the sum of the problems related to previous one. Here prove that n belongs to z plus n is greater than 3, 2 power n is less than n factorial. Prove that these are similar to uh, these two problems we solved. Prove by the mathematical induction that for any positive integer n the number 11th power n plus 2 plus 12th power 2 n plus 1 is divisible by 133. Here also first you can assume if it is in the base case n is equal to 1 it is true or not you can check it out. Then you can assume that it is true for kth value means s of n you can take this function then s of 1 is true or not you can check it out. After that you can check it out yes s of k plus 1 term is also true. This is you know that the base basic formula for this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. That is simple thing the simple formula you always remembered sum of first n integers is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. This is also sometimes that can be represented as n i running from 1 to k i running from sorry k running from 1 to n. 
here first you can check it out but for this is base case s of k if you put k equals 1 sorry if k is equal to 1 what happens here 1 will be there here also n is equal to 1 means base case 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 then this 2 2 become cancel you get 1 is equal to 1 means s of 1 is true then you can prove that the next term is also true means 1 plus 2 plus 3 etcetera k is true that is k into k plus 1 by 2 that we prove that 1 plus 2 plus 3 etcetera k the next term k plus 1 can be added to both the sides of this function then you can take a simplification for this here what is that k divided by 2 is a common means here k into k plus 1 plus 2 times k plus 1 will be there. <coughs> then here k square plus k plus 2 k plus 1 divided by 2 then this is same as k plus 1 into k plus 2 the factorization of this 3 k will be there divided by 2 means this is also true for s of k plus 1. These are the some of the mathematical inductions. Today we discuss the what are the history of the mathematical induction and uh, related problems there are different types of mathematical inductions. The mathematical induction three different types we discussed here and also some well ordering principles also we discussed. In the next class maybe we will discuss the some of the related problems of mathematical induction and some well ordering principle and recurrence definitions.